10 things on EOS 4.2 that Apple needs to fix in 2011. The EOS 4.2 is still far from perfect and a few things can still be improved. On November 22, 2010, Apple released the version 4.2, or February 4, 2001 to be precise, of its mobile apps, the EOS. This update allowed Apple to unify a wide range of its mobile devices under the same EOS version, ePod Touch, Even, and ePod, which share nearly similar functionality. The ePod gets the full capability of EOS 4.2 such as multitasking, Game Center, and the improved Mail Client. The new EOS also introduced some new technologies, such as the AirPlay that allows you send in video or audio files to any compatible device, or AirPlay that allows printing documents, web pages or photos directly from mobile devices to a compatible printer, although it only supports a few HP printers. Apple also offered one little thing, allowing you to discover the location of an EOS mobile device for free. So far, it is only available to those who have mobile account. Unfortunately, the EOS is definitely not perfect yet and you may say, it still lacks certain features that could make it even better. This is a list of things that need to be improved soon. Better Notification System Introduced on EOS 3.0, the notification system allows apps to alert users without having to run the actual application. Not bad really, but this system is currently very limited. We tend to ignore those notifications instinctively without taking some time to open them. What follows is the nagging feeling of having missed something. Worse, when notifications arrive quickly, they make the previous ones invisible. If you watch a video and a notification arrives, you can't put it aside, so you can return later. Options are quite limited in opening or closing the notification and obviously Apple needs to revise its notification system in a bit more elegant way. More flexibility in multitasking. The biggest innovation in the 4.2 EOS was undoubtedly the multitasking, which allows you to open more than one app at a time. To improve battery life, Apple has devised a rather clever way of putting open and unused apps on suspended status. They do not consume processor resources and add no impacts on devices' performance and battery life. Apple also puts in place some libraries that allow true multitasking capability for some apps. You can use GPS navigation feature in the background, listen to a song while making VoIP calls. Only recently Apple expands the scope of multitasking by giving an opportunity for some applications to download contents regularly when in the suspended status which would avoid having, for example, waiting for RSS feed or news to be updated when the application is reactivated. This is also useful for Twitter or Facebook users to get updated status in real time. However, Apple needs to add an option to automatically close suspended applications that haven't been used for a certain time period. Improvements on Mail Client Since early EOS versions, the Mail Client is always evolving. Today, it can sort your emails by several criteria, display one index for all accounts and synchronize easily. Unfortunately, it still lacks a few features found in desktop mail clients, for example, the ability to mark emails, delete many emails, and send emails to a contact group. Of course, your own wish list can be longer. For example, Apple should integrate features such as spam filter, smart folders, or better text processing options, like bold, italics, etc. Better data sharing One of the biggest drawbacks of EOS is the inability to smoothly handle two similar apps at the same time. Since the release of EOS 4.2, things have changed significantly and the device can now determine about whether a file type is supported. For example, it will open Excel documents with numbers or videos with the LC. However, it's still a pain to open two similar applications because they use the same storage location. Each application should have its own internal storage to ensure a smoother flow. Although Apple has tried everything to avoid it, EOS may need a centralized storage to allow the applications exchange data more freely. Similarly, sending data to other mobile EOS device is always complicated. Often, you need to go through items to drag files onto the application. Meanwhile, Dropbox or mobile synchronization is performed online and other applications use virtual web servers that act like a hard drive on your desktop computer to allow seamless data transfers. This problem also occurs on applications that send files by email. Again, Apple should find a simplified and unified method for sending data to other EOS devices. Tasks Management in ECL Because EOS is a mobile operating system, ECL is commonly used by users of EOS devices. 
but you may wonder why Apple fails to include a list of upcoming tasks in the EOS calendar while a similar feature is still present in the Macs. Wireless synchronization. Certain data can be synchronized wirelessly between even iPod Touch and the iPod with a desktop computer still needed between these devices. Indeed, Mobile or other free services like Google Sync can synchronize contacts, emails, documents or bookmarks seamlessly through the air, but reliable internet connection is not available in some places. These days, data synchronization through a SIP cable already feels outdated. If synchronization of music library and video on the 3G network appears too expensive or can be unreliable, why Apple does not allow synchronization through the Wi-Fi network? It would be convenient to transfer photos to your Mac from the EOS devices without having to use a USB cable. Screen Lock Android users will tell you, there is nothing more convenient than having a steady stream of information displayed clearly on the home screen, for example, weather, stock prices, incoming emails, and appointments. However, Apple still has no plan on using Screen Lock on their devices. Streaming Files to EOS Devices With EOS 4.2, you can use AirPlay to send a stream of video or audio from your EOS devices to compatible devices, like the new Apple TV or an Airport Express. But EOS devices are not really intended to store plenty of videos or photos and would need a large external storage, so it would be nice to view or play files on stored on a network drive or a Mac directly in your EBIT or IFN. The Apple TV is able to play files stored on desktop computers, even so this feature is still not available on EOS devices. There are some applications that can access to music library from mobile devices like Airfile Speakers Touch, but this feature requires the installation of proper software on the desktop computer. Make AirPrint more accessible for EOS. It was heralded as a huge revolution in the wireless printing field, but the fame of AirPrint quickly wanes. Currently, AirPrint is only supported by 11 HP printers. At this moment, Apple has removed printing feature via shared printers from Macs or Windows PC. Restore the screen orientation lock on the EPID. Something a little unusual happened with the EOS 4.2. Cupertino has changed the orientation lock button function on the EPID. It is now only used to mute the overall sound, just like the IFN. The locking is now accessible by double-clicking the center button. If you are already accustomed to this feature, the change is clearly annoying. And many others. Obviously, EO still lacks many features to achieve perfection. Here are some of them. Customization of ringtones and alerts. Better management on multiple user accounts, especially on the EPID. Better file transfer files via Bluetooth. Flash disk storage mode for iPod Touch, even an iPod when connected to a Mac. Voice styling, useful when using headphones. Voice control for the third-party applications. Automatic podcasts download. The ability to mute all notifications. Better management of tabs in Safari, iPod. Fast time via the 3G network obviously, the EOS will continue to evolve in 2011, maybe even much more than the Mac OS X. But, let's hope these features will be available for us soon.